Hi guys, Sam Taggart, your sales expert, and I'm gonna go into how to really craft a pitch. Because a lot of times we struggle at like coming up with our own pitch. And I don't care if you're selling window cleaner to vacuums to whatever, there's a simple formula that I'm gonna teach that's gonna help you figure out what's your what and your why. And I have tons more training to go deeper into this. If you just click the link, we've got a bunch of free videos. So click the link and you'll get access to that. And let's dive into this. So I came up with the four S's to really figure out how to come up with a program for your what and your why. So obviously you give your introduction, you break the preoccupation, you talk about that, but then you've got to go into what's my program. And when I train companies, I say, create a program, whatever that is. I was out in Florida last week and I helped these guys craft their pitch. I consult companies and train sales experts in how to really structure sales presentations and things like that. And I found that these guys really just had a very basic copied everybody else in the industry on their pitch. And I was like, well, if you're the 10th guy trying to sell the same thing, that same pitch is not going to work. We need to come up with a new program. And so how I base this is, I ask myself these four S's. And the first one is what's the situation? And what I mean by that, the situation in the door approach. Okay, so are they busy? Are they you know, running out the door? Do they already have a system? Have they already talked to people? Have, it, have, they, have they already bought before? Are they, is it their first time buying? Is it a fresh system? Is it a takeover? Is it a, you know, what is the situation? Because if I approach somebody that already has a service and I'm trying to switch them over, then, and I just say it the same way, then I'm gonna shoot myself in the foot. So I say, what's the situation? And that's how I cater my program. And it might change every single door. If you're trying to just use a copy paste pitch, you're like, well, just give me the words to say. I'm like, no, then you're never assessing these four S's. So you've got to practice the situation. So the situation could be many different things. The second one is what is the saturation, okay? So have I already knocked this neighborhood? Have I already talked to these people? Have they talked to other competitors of mine? And I gotta say, what's the saturation? Because if I approach it and I say, okay, this is a brand new pitch and they've already talked to 10 people, they're gonna be like, uh, I already talked to you. So I gotta say, oh, I'm here because of, you've talked to probably 10 other people, I'm assuming, right? That's exactly why I'm here. So the, using lines like that, that says, I'm here because of this, is going to help eliminate some of the saturation. But if you say that when it's a fresh neighborhood or fresh contact, they're gonna be like, what? Like, what are you talking about? I've never heard of this, this is brand new. So you've gotta say, what's the saturation? The third one is what's the sex? And when I say what's the sex, it also is the age, it's also the, a lot of different things. So it's like, okay, are they male, are they female? Are they white, Asian, American, Indian, black? Like, what are they? And you kind of have to cater. So if I'm gonna sell a 70 year old retired dude, my product or service is gonna be probably different than if I sell a brand new move in, first time home buyer with three little kids. So I've got to now cater, okay, what's the sex? What's the, what's the demographic that I'm, that I'm trying to, to, to cater to? And the last one is what's the status? And when I say status, you might be selling to higher income, lower income. You might be selling to people that are decision maker, not so decision maker. You might be selling to what is the status of the individual and you can probe and figure that out pretty quickly by just simply asking, hey, are you the homeowner? Hey, how long have you lived here? Is it you and spouse that lives here? You know, who's the one that typically pays the bills? So now I'm gonna cater, it's like, well, they're not the decision maker. I now have to cater to say, how do I get to the decision maker to sell them right now? And if I don't really pay attention to these four S's when I create a door approach, I'm gonna shoot myself in the foot and I'm gonna sound like a robot cookie cutter, here's the script. So let me give you a simple example, okay? So let's pick a situation. So the situation is simply, um, I'm in a brand new neighborhood with a brand new product. Let's just say it's fresh. So saturation is it's fresh. And I'm gonna sell a 60 year old dude that makes really good money. I'm in a really rich neighborhood, okay? Because I'm gonna sell a really rich person different than the hood. Just have to approach it with different professionalism, different, I can't just be like, what's up, man? But in the hood, sometimes they resonate with that and they don't connect with the really sophisticated person. See what I mean? So that's where status is gonna change. So I'm in a really rich neighborhood with a 70 year old retired dude that lives by himself and I am going to sell him this eraser. Doesn't matter the widget, I'm going to pick just something random. So 
Now I just simply approach it like this. Hey sir, sorry to bug ya. Um, I'm here with whatever, Office Depot. <laughs> and with Office Depot. And uh, I'll be super quick. I know you probably don't like buying from door to door people. That's probably like super annoying how they come through here all the time, I'm assuming. Boom, what did I do? His status is I'm above some dude from Home Depot, right? I know that. So I'm gonna be like, look, I'm doing something totally different, I promise. And I'm gonna kind of address this approach. Now my what and my why, I've gotta create a program. I'm doing a program, it's really simple. And basically a lot of the homeowners in here still have the chalkboards. These are about 50, 40, 40, 50 year old homes. They're really nice by the way, I love the neighborhood. Most people have been doing upgrades to some of their chalkboards, to the new whiteboards, but they all forgot the erasers. So our program is just an initiative to kind of help with the updates that are going on in the area. See, it's a program, it's an initiative. I'm not like, hey, I'm here, I'm here to sell you an eraser, are you interested? Then I become a salesman. Does that make sense? Then the last step, so the next step is gonna be what's the deal? So the deal is, um, we basically go over a simple things of how it works, things like that, and I help you with this new, new incentive. For until the end of the week, we're actually doing a two for one, where if you get two erasers for the price of one, and what's in it for me, is I found I get a lot of referrals because everybody wants to sting an eraser. There's the deal, right? What's in it for them, what's in it for me? And then you pull back, so be like, not everybody qualifies, not, this eraser is not a good fit for everybody. You know, some people really like more the scrunchy ones, you know? Um, but some people really like the hard ones. Not everybody, it's not a win-win, I won't do it, but let me just kind of explain how it works. And that's the transition. So then I'm gonna transition into whatever I'm going into. So it's like, okay, let me step in and show you, do you have any dry erase stuff right now that I can show you how this works on? Oh yeah, let me step in real quick and take a peek at that. Or let me, let me, let me take a quick corner of the table, I'll show you how it works. Let me demo how this works real quick. Is it cool if I step in, put my head down, I transition in, whatever that looks like. So what I've found is I've sold everything under the sun from pests to satellite to solar to roofing to alarms and it's, it's a widget. That's why I could pick up something random right here and show you the steps of my door approach and it will work in whatever I'm selling. It's funny, I actually did a funny YouTube series of will it sell and I, I actually practiced this on bounce houses. I'm in North Carolina and I'm like, I'm just gonna wing it and pretend to sell a bounce house. And it was the same steps. And I got all the way through the sales process and I was like, I don't even know how to sell a bounce, like I don't have bounce houses to sell. I was using the images off of Google, but I wanted to test myself and say, will it sell? And I've realized that if you follow our structures and trainings, you can become an expert in whatever it is you're selling. So we have a whole university to teach you and break down the, the minute little steps of this. If you wanna schedule a demo and really get some more clarity on how to craft your perfect pitch, we're here to help you. We have experts assigned to help you and content des designed to actually master so that you can have an effective pitch. Schedule a demo today and share this content if you feel like you learned something. Hope to see you on the next video.